Today is September 16th, 2023. Here is a letter from Brother Joseph Branham in the Branham Tabernacle in Jeffersonville, Indiana. Now, here is Brother Joseph Branham. Dear Chosen Ones, Our Lord Jesus loves us so much that it pleased him to send us a prophet in our day. One he had 100% confidence in. One he could come and live in so he could reveal himself through that human flesh to call out his bride. His prophet loved us so much that he made a promise to us and to God that any new message would come from his little tabernacle. He would record it, store it up, so God's bride would have spiritual food to feast upon even when he was gone. God loved his angel prophet so much he helped his prophet to keep his word to us. After God had spoken through his mighty angel and completely revealed and interpreted the entire Bible to us, he then opened the top of the pyramid like rock that wasn't even written on and revealed it to his angel so he could give all his hidden mysteries to us, his bride. God even gave a vision to Brother Roberson where he saw the pillar of fire pick up his prophet and take him west, then return him back, place him at the head of the table where he had been changed. The Holy Spirit then spoke and told him, This is my servant, and I have called him to be a prophet to the age, to lead the people just as Moses did. He's been given the authority to speak into existence. What was Moses calling? What was he supposed to do? God had commanded Moses to lead the people to the promised land, but there rose up men that had decided that they would interfere with the commission that God had given to Moses, saying, You take it upon yourself to do too much. You try to make yourself the only one in the bunch that's got any say-so. This act displeased God so much until he told Moses, separate yourself from among them. I'll just kill the whole bunch and start a new generation with you. And Moses fell in the presence of God and said he'd have to come over him. If God was going to liquidate the people in our day, who would stand like Moses for the people? Where would we find a person that would stand or could stand who God would accept like he did Moses? There is only one man's life on earth that means so much to God to stay his wrath, his mighty seventh angel. God has always had a program. His bride will recognize that program and will stay with it word by word. They know they must stay with that voice that God has chosen to lead them to reach the promised land. God spoke through his prophet and gave plenty of room to go in a different direction. Just as Noah did in the ark with the dove and the crow. But just like the dove that always returned to the ark, the bride will always return to the message 
that voice, the tapes. Who was the prophet of our day? There has been mighty prophets before that God had called and sent to lead his people throughout the ages. Abraham, Moses, Elijah, Elisha, but none of them were like the mighty prophet of our day. He was called to a much higher office than all of them. He was the one to whom God chose to reveal all his mysteries. He was the one God chose to speak into existence something from nothing. He was the one chosen to reveal the third pole. He was the one God chose to lead his bride. What a blessed people we are, God's chosen bride. How can we be down? How can we be sad? Satan tries to discourage us, but we have the victory. We're sealed in, safely in the ark. The doors are shut. Nothing can harm us. We are his restored Adam. He's coming for us, his chosen bride. There will be some of us that won't have to taste death, but will be changed in a moment, a twinkling of an eye. Glory! Like each of you, I am so excited as each day, His Word, my revelation, He has given to me, gets greater and greater. I am under great expectations. If He doesn't come today, maybe tomorrow, but I know He is coming very soon and he is coming for me and for you. Come join us Sunday at 12 p.m. Jeffersonville time as we hear the food that has been stored up in one little place as we look upon and hear standing in the gap 63 0623M. We will begin the message on paragraph number 27. Brother Joseph Branham. Numbers chapter 16 verses 3 and 4. And they gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron and said unto them, you take too much upon you seeing all the congregation are holy, every one of them, and the Lord is among them. Wherefore, then lift you up yourselves above the congregation of the Lord? And when Moses heard it, he fell upon his face. This concludes the Eagles Gathering Together letter from Brother Joseph Brandon. Hello, my name is Brother David Erickson. This is my testimony. We attended a church in Tucson, Arizona 54 years ago. The church allowed me to borrow reel-to-reel -reel sermons like these of Brother Branham and to hear them in my home. I was 11 years old. It was like hearing a prophet's voice right out of the pages of the Bible. It was most precious to me. My pastor called it the voice of a prophet. But I knew my pastor was wrong. Brother Branham said on the tape, it was the voice of God speaking directly to me. My father and mother left that church. 
I said that to say this. When the new Agapo tablets with this precious revealed word comes into your region, in your language, accept the gift God sent to you to receive the messenger with the word you will be marked with a mark of God. To reject it, you will be marked with the mark of the beast. So please, my brother or sister, do not turn the pure, unadulterated word away. Listen to what Brother Branham said, and I quote, And it's been brought to the place of a decision and the churches has turned it down. And what have the churches desired? A murderer of the word, one who takes a system. If the system is contrary to the word, then it's a murderer to the word. And they have desired a denomination tradition in the stead of the true word being manifested and proved that it's God amongst the people. By science, through pictures, a light, the same angel of the Lord, the pillar of fire, the same one that lived on the earth in the body of Jesus Christ, has come upon his people in the last days, where science has took the picture of it, the church has seen its works, it's thoroughly identified by tapes and everything around the world and personally ministered. And still, in all of that, their systems are desiring a council of churches to condemn the truth. Desiring a murderer that would shut off or stop or shut out and it'll do it. They'll stop such a thing and the council of churches will have to do it. There is the mark of the beast, Antichrist, against the word which is Christ. But not their creed. They think it's tradition. They think that their traditions is of God. See, but it won't stand up with the word. And neither does God vindicate it to be right. 63, 11, 24, him. What shall I do? with Jesus called Christ. Brother William Brandon. God bless you and shalom.